Hey everybody, Rob from MTB Michigan. Because what could get more cool than a fat pastor on a mountain bike, really? Um, with all the excitement today, I forgot to actually start recording an intro. Uh, today is Labor Day, well today is actually Labor Day, but uh, Labor Day weekend last year I was doing the Fat Pusher Challenge. Had a group of guys that came out and just supported just to see how far I could ride on a bike. Um, it was a good time. Uh, of course you guys said, uh, you know, know that I uh, ended up breaking my ankle shortly thereafter and having a long recovery. Um, so I didn't, and then we had coronavirus and, uh, you know, became a little bit of a problem. Um, so I didn't get to put together an actual fat pusher challenge this year. Um, and uh, so I'm doing kind of a different uh, take on it due to the coronavirus and the recovery. I'm actually on the Macomb Orchard Trail and uh, I'm gonna just see how far I can ride today. It's already, uh, with all the, like I said, the, didn't record an intro because there was a lot of commotion when I pulled the bike out. Um, my rear tire apparently has a small little puncture. I went to pump it up and sealant started going everywhere. It seems to be kind of held at bay now. So I'm gonna ride. I do have a spare tube just in case and uh, we'll see how it goes. So one thing I could tell you is on my gravel bike, uh, in the very near future, I'm not gonna be running tubeless anymore. This is just on this particular bike. I don't know if it's the tires. A lot of people say it's the tires on the internet. Uh, I am not going to be running tubeless on this thing any longer. But yeah, so I'm about a uh, mile and a half, two miles in, and going to see how far I can ride before this becomes a problem. And hopefully, I can get to the other end of the Macomb Orchard Trail and and back. Um, I parked at the 25 and Shelby Road entrance so I missed like about a mile and a half because so I don't know where it actually starts I know it's somewhere by 23 and Dick Winder but uh, yeah that's it we'll see you on the trail eight miles in um, so far the tire seems to be holding up so that makes me excited uh, coming up to an interchange or a road crossing here and then got what uh, I think to be pretty much the only big climb that I've never gone much farther past this bridge that's coming up, so I really can't say for sure. Here's the big climb, the only one I know of. So <clears throat> Basically, right now we're not far from 32 mile and the Van Dyke Expressway, which is right over there. So I'm at Main and Division Street in downtown Richmond. It's the Macomb Orchard Trail. Big uh, thing here behind me that I just crossed under. Arch, I guess. So I'm guessing I made it to the other end, which makes me pretty happy. Um, now I gotta get this big old butt back home. You know, I was really hoping that I'd come to the end of this trail and there'd be a giant McDonald's and get a chocolate shake or something. But wait a second, you're a fat guy and you're trying to lose weight. That's why you're doing this ride, dummy. Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So anyway, um, so for the solo fat pusher, I'm officially the farthest I've been in 2020 away from on a point to point ride. So I'm 20. 21 something miles, I don't know, um, this way, and I gotta make them all back now. So, we'll see you on the way back. We all just left the park in Richmond, uh, 
22 miles from where I parked to there. So, we had a lovely chat. A couple on a tandem, a couple other people. So that was nice. And uh, just making the way back now. Felt nice to have a little break, but it'll feel nicer to get home. So I got 22 miles to go, the halfway point here. And uh, yeah, honestly, feeling good. Recovery, you know, slow. Talked about it in a number of videos. Don't want to delay that point or belabor that point. Here's what it is. But uh, the recovery may have been slow. And it's a different kind of biking that I want to do at this point. Um, definitely, you know, rethinking my priorities. I, I've already said it. I'm not really interested in going back into free riding. Uh, but, uh, you know, I do still love a ride on a, on a mountain bike trail. Um, so, got to work through some issues and hopefully get back out on those soon. Honestly, I did do the two rides. wasn't comfortable at that point. Um, a lot stronger now. And uh, coming into fall, you know, everybody packed on their COVID-15. I think I packed on COVID 1.5 megatons. Um, so, I got a lot of work to do. Um, hearing that the governor is going to, that Michigan is going to allow gyms to officially reopen, which uh, will be good because I can work on strength and deal with uh, that kind of stuff. But uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy right now. That first 22 honestly felt great. So looking forward to getting back, getting back with the family, cooking some brats. You know, the whole Labor Day thing. But, uh, yeah, that's what we got. So, that's the halfway point. Uh, 30 miles in. Two hours, 40 minutes. I'm pretty happy with that. That means I'm going over 10 miles an hour. Uh, which is, so 30 miles is about uh, the farthest ride I've done so far this year. So everything else is bonus. Unfortunately, everything else is also mandatory. I've got 14 miles to go. Um, I can tell you this. I'm probably going to be stopping in a town for water, the next gas station I see. That's about it. Otherwise, I feel good. The biggest problems I have is maybe I should have worn a camelback, which is the water problem. And uh, the other problem is just getting acclimated to this seat. So that's it. Otherwise, I feel pretty good for a guy who weighs one metric ton. Uh, doing a doing a point to point ride and back I'm pretty happy uh, it's definitely a good you know one year anniversary to a fat pusher especially after all the stuff uh, it's a good way to end a cruel summer as I think that was Bananarama once said uh, with all this coronavirus stuff and everything else so pretty happy um Really pretty happy right now with the, the way this ride's going so far. So the, the back tires held up. That surprised the heck out of me. I guess it's threatening. If I threaten my tires to put tubes in, they hold air. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like Cousin Eddie. Gets kicked by a mule. Eyes go cross. Falls down a well. They go straight. So I don't know, man. Threaten to put in tubes and my tires hold air. But, uh, yeah, that's the story. Man.
back at this bridge. So we're by 32 and the Van Dyke Expressway again. I'm just gonna drop that gear to make it a little easier to climb. So I don't remember, I'm 35-ish miles in, 36. So farthest I've ridden all year. But it's a little sore, a little tired. For us big guys, if we want to get to be not so big, I just want to give you some proof that we can push it. A lot of times, I want to sit on the couch, deal with arthritis, deal with other things, injuries, exhaustion, whatever. I get it. But, make those excuses feel like we can't do it i just wanted to take a minute to tell you we can took a little sloppy drink gotta be careful because i haven't seen a gas station yet i'm sure i missed it um but i'm running low on water i got half a water bottle left and about eight miles left so trying to be careful there we go A coaster ride down. Wee! On this little piggy. Wee! 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 Oh, rar! I gotta dig into the rar meter. That stop at the top of the hill made my quads start to made my quads start to cramp a little bit. So, I'll be digging into the RAR meter a little bit more now. I basically have no choice but to make it back to the car. So, there's that. So anyway, if you can't tell, I found something to drink. Um, I am just about 40 miles in now. Had to alleviate, started to get a little bit crampy. So I had to deal with that. RAR! So if last year's Fat Pusher was about dreams, I'd say this one's about perseverance. It's kind of like this whole year. Hey guys, how you doing? Good. You know, you just gotta persevere. Oh, I just swallowed a bug. But, uh, no, I mean, this year's just all been about perseverance doing a point-to-point -point ride as opposed to laps you know laps you can you can push your dreams not be too far from anything in case something happens this one I just had to persevere through uh, you know and make it happen regardless so there's that it's not as many miles as I did last year it's on a different kind of bike I was on a fat bike doing cross country and I'm on a gravel bike doing an asphalt trail today but you know I'm also recovering ankles doing real well from that um, from pedaling this far honestly every time I pedal it loosens it up so I'm happy about that but yeah I just got a little more to persevere and we'll see you at the finish car just over there got 44 miles and somewhere around mile 41 I just felt like you know what last year you had dreams this year everybody's just got to persevere I don't know where the other end of this trail is and uh, I haven't done a half century this year or last year or in a long time so we are going into dreamland so about a mile after my car, that was about 44 miles, um, Macomb Orchard Trail apparently turned into the Clinton River Trail. Um, I am now 47 miles in. Uh, Clinton River Trail is a gravel trail, so that's kind of nice. So I am making a turnaround. Um, I should break 50 by the time I get back to the car. Hey, that is a wrap on the 2020 Fat Pusher Challenge, um, the COVID edition. Uh, 
very excited to say first half century in forever um, that I can remember anyway. So bike held up, uh, body held up, you know, and it was just something, you know, that at mile 41, I, I was just thinking about perseverance and stuff like that. And, and I just felt this push, um, you know, I guess as, as a, as a believer, I would say that push was the Holy Spirit. And it was just about pushing myself, you know, there's so much persevering going on. You need to push yourself to dream again. And so I did. And my dream last year was to get as many miles as I could. Um, and I did that. And my dream this for after last year was to break a half century. And I did that. So I'm very excited. Uh, you know, and I was rewarded too. Uh, you know, jumping over from the Macomb Orchard Trail into the Clinton River Trail, I was rewarded with a lot of scenery, um, a little bit of dirt. It was very exciting. And all, all in all, it was great. Did I have to work hard? Yeah. Did I have to dig deep into reserves to do it? Yeah. But I was able to do it. I had the grace to do it. Remember when I started out the ride, I was worried about having a flat. I had uh, some kind of a little puncture and it's pumping up my tires and sealant was shooting everywhere. I spun it around a few times. I was like, we'll give it a shot. And uh, fortunately that held up. And so basically I had grace to go out and not just persevere, but to dream again. <clears throat> Maybe this leads to taking a serious look at how I can deal with uh, being one metric ton. So. Anyway, that's it. Thanks for joining me on the ride. Live the faith, ride it out. Hope to see you on the trail.